Hello, wifeys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela here, and today we're going to be getting into the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Unlocked Elephant Palette. Um, I'm just going to try this out. It's the holiday collection. Um, so if you want to see how it performs and my thoughts on it, then just keep on watching. is how it looks let's open her up this is my first hourglass um face palette so i really don't know what to expect but let's go through the names of the shades so one and two is a finishing powder like right here and right here and it is called i'm gonna have to do it like this and number one is called dim light. Number two is called soft light. Number three is a metallic strobe light, a strobe powder and beaming strobe light. Number four coming down here is, no, number four coming down here is the bronzer. And then the blush is iridescent coral and then radiant rose. I'm gonna insert swatches on my arm. Um, I got this one because like the deeper one was like almost too deep for me. So it was no like finishing. The finishing powder was too dark and the, they gave you a lot of highlighters. I didn't want a lot of highlighters. And like it was one bronzer that looked kind of like, I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. This one spoke to me. I love these blush shades. I was thinking that I could use the bronzer as like a finishing powder because of the shade you see like it kind of reminds me of my mac mineralized skin finish so i wonder if those are the same i have powder on my on my um hand oh my god i just dug my finger in there like if you put these next to each other they're kind of similar no let's swatch the um this is the mac right here and then this is the hourglass so they're like literally the same you can't even see them like that's the mac it's like really my skin tone and that was that so i was thinking i could use that one as a finishing powder instead of a bronzer um today so let's just try this palette out i want to go in first with the first finishing powder right here. And I just wanna like set my under eye and just see how it looks. Because I've seen where people use this to really set the under eye. And I just wanna, cause I haven't powdered at all my concealer. I only have cream products on my face except for my eyeshadow, of course. Um, so yeah, let's try this out. I mean, that looks really nice and smooth and airbrush. Can y'all see? I mean, that's pretty. This one's like a little like rosy looking and then I'm going to switch my brush over and I'm going to go into the second one right here. The more golden looking powder shade. We're going to do the other eye. Oop, I think I just picked up blush by accident. I like this one. I think I can mix them and just make a nice shade, but I like this one. So this is the more pinky one, which is called um, Dim Light. And then this is Soft Light. I like Dim Light. So I'm gonna take Dim Light and I'm gonna go 
over everything where I put concealer. Like that is just so pretty. It just smooths everything out. And it's got like a little like reflection. I'm actually gonna go over both eyes with dim light. No, um, what is it called? Soft light. So they match. But yeah, I like those under the eye. Can y'all see? I hope y'all can see it. Now, let's go into the coral blush. This one has like glitter in it, like shine. Y'all see it? I can see the glitter before I can see the actual blush color. It's really shiny. So that's the coral blush. Now let's try the rose on the other cheek. And that's how the rose looks. It's not as, it's no, it's a sheen, but it's not like glittery if that makes sense it looks really good i actually really like that yeah i wish i'm gonna try to use this brush to see if i can get more pigment on here because the coral blush is really just picking up glitter with a hint of color i think it's just like that actually yeah it's just a shiny like blush I prefer rose, but they're both pretty. They're both pretty. Okay, shall we strobe? Let's jump into the strobe lighting. The highlight. I usually like to highlight my cheeks, but for the sake of this video we're gonna just do that number that's nice i think i am gonna like do my cheeks though because that's just how i wear my i don't wear highlight up here hardly ever um i just don't want to do it on this one because it's already so glowy so let's do it like how i would do like right here yeah oh you do both sides right there there That's really pretty. Actually, that's really pretty. Love that, love that kind of glow. And then let's just go in with the bronzing powder. I'm gonna go in with a kind of big fluffy brush like that. This is what I use with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. But it's so small, you gotta just kind of like I've always been really interested in like how the hourglass powders perform because I've never bought one of these before, but they're nice. Especially like if you want to like use it for like traveling and stuff. I think it's a nice palette. I think it works. What do y'all think? Do y'all like the face? That definitely wouldn't bronze me. But, like, I like it as an all-over finishing powder. My face is really, like, reflective. 
I wonder how, let's see. Very glowy, like everything has shimmer or sheen or something going on in it with the shades. Like they're just reflective. Um, I think that's just like the hourglass thing. They like to be like used for photographs and like different things like that. Otherwise, like I think it's a pretty overall good palette. You just have to look at the three that's available and see like what fits your needs best because like I said, with the deep one, it just wouldn't have worked and it had like orange, um, like orange blush but it was like shiny like even shinier than like this coral one and like i don't think i would have i'm just going over this coral blush with the rose shade and i'm just going back into the rose shade and blushing up my face because i love blush but you know what i'm saying so like it's like you have to figure out which one will work for you this one works for me i really like it um like i said i want to be able to Pretty much use it as like an all over face palette, not just like. I just don't want to be limited. Like I feel like I would get most more, more use out of this. So yeah, I definitely am using these two as like setting powders. Like I said, two blushes, an all over face powder and a highlight. I think that's a pretty good use of it. The deeper one, like I said, the bronzer was too deep, too cool. Um, I didn't like the orange shade. And then it was like three strobing powders. And like, I really already, I have enough highlight. Like, because I mainly just use my MAC Hyper Real Glow palette a lot. And my Natasha Denona face palette. I'm just like, highlight's not like a thing right now. Like, we're not really into, I like this one. So, those are my thoughts. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, I think it's worth the money. I'm glad I got it. I like it. Check it out. I like these. Those are my thoughts on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the demo and review. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.